Now, I just want to do this again, and I want to do it another way. Uh, so would you start out and tell me what you've been hearing? Okay, Virginia, we've been hearing... No, you're, I'm Glenn. Uh, you're Glenn. Glenn? <laughs> we've been hearing about these uh, women that uh, go down there to the center, and they're getting filled with all kinds of ideas about how they're just as good as their husbands, and that they... Um, can get off and do their own thing, and they don't have to pay any attention to marriage vows. Mm, we no. just really don't like that. Oh, I feel so bad that there's anybody like that who would talk, who feel that way. That's terrible. Maybe we should change everything we're doing. I'm so sad about that. Well, I think you'd ought to be, because that's sure what we hear is going on. Oh, gosh, I didn't really know. Oh, forgive me. I would never have done anything wrong. Well, you sure have been. You gonna forgive me? <laughs> <laughs> not that easy. No, not right. that easy. Now that's another whole string of affairs, isn't it? <laughs> but you know that one. I right, do it again. I'm gonna do another one. <laughs> same thing, you know. Just something same thing. Okay. Glenn, you know, we really don't like the way you've been doing things down there at that women's center. You sure created a mess out of a lot of marriages. Who in the hell do you think you are? <laughs> down there with all those crappy people being a righteous son of a bitch? Go on, chuck it, brother. <laughs> That's another one, isn't it? Okay, and that I could get a knife drawn on me for that one. <laughs> Okay. All right, do it again. <laughs> we'll do another one. Uh, Glenn, you've really been tearing up things in that self-help center down there. Uh, all that you've been doing has wrecked so many homes. It's uh, gotten so many women all upset. They're off doing stuff that, uh, you know, running away from their husbands and their kids. It's great that you asked that question because I just happened to have a report from the National Institute of Mental Health in which there are several statistics of, of groups in the country where there is a great deal of husband beating going on. And I think that you would like to read that. So I think you will be more informed when you read it. Thank you. <laughs> I, I already know all I know and all I need to know. <laughs> all right, now do it again. I'm gonna do another one. <laughs> you notice everyone sends it in a different direction. But do it again. Glenn, I'm really upset with the way things have been going down there at the center. You've been taking a bunch of this new human psychology stuff and turning it loose on these women, and you've really wrecked a lot of them. <laughs> oh, gosh, in heaven, I knew one day somebody would really like come up. You know, that reminds me of a joke. <laughs> a joke? <laughs> you, you don't really care about that. <laughs> And I can do that. You recognize that. Or I can do what I did before, or I can do another one. Say it to me again. It's another form of making a connection with him at the same time, trying to do something which may, which doesn't escalate what he's doing, but may create a little doubt. Me. So tell me again. Glenn, this kind of stuff that you've been working with down there at the center just really is doing a lot of damage. You know, you're tearing apart families, you're tearing apart homes, you're getting women with all kinds of modern ideas that aren't good for them. Uh, we really, you really ought to be doing something different. You ought to do something about that. We've got a lot of people that think it ought to be stopped. You know, let me have your hand. How do you feel about that? One of the nicest things that anybody can do is to share what they feel. And I feel you've done that for me. It doesn't necessarily mean that we're together in what we're doing. Because I don't know if I understand completely what you're saying, and I don't know if you understand completely with me. But I really like the fact that you've taken the trouble, you have taken the interest, to be able to share this with me. Can we talk further about it? I'd sure like to. Oh, OK. <laughs> now that's another one. Now, there is a difference, too. You notice I offered him my hand. He didn't give it to me right away. Now, I'm going to tell you what I did. I really, I really mean what I say uh, about the, about, you know, always you're better off when people can tell you where they are. 
And so what I did is I, I let my body give even an extra bit of, of message of warmth to him. Because I also know he's scared. This Don is scared. And so that there is a whole lot that has to happen for him to understand the rumors that are going on. And you know also, I'm on the on board of a battered woman's, uh, I was going to say refuge. It is a battered woman's one. I'm supposed to stop pretty soon. Anyway, um, and the women get so guilty about what has happened. And they haven't been able to raise themselves enough so that they talk to other people in a way of trying to validate what has happened to them. So the point of it is, this, you're talking to me, has very little to do with the organization per se. It has to do with your scaredness and so on. And if I am, find no way to make a contact with you uh, that is going to help us to come together, then we're not going to be able to do anything. When I worked with really delinquent, acting out people uh, and the families of the people, and I learned that what was underneath was the fear. And what they needed from me was some honest kind of connection. And if I could, to take a handshake. Handshakes are very relatively innocuous. They look innocuous, but they're actually powerful connectors. And you can feel that in my own hand here. Mm -hmm. And the responses come differently. Now, I wouldn't want anybody to think you can take out, go out and, and, and model this exactly like this. But what it is possible to do, once you take somebody out of an enemy category and put them into a person who is responding, and behind such a person I see fear, I see anger, I see, I see worry, I see all that kind of stuff. So the first part is to make a bridge. And to make that bridge, and when you get into these tough things, we're going to have more and more of things like that because a lot of the cult stuff is, is evolving and all the rest of that. For how to really make it. You keep your own integrity. You make a contact. And I'm always glad when people tell me. But I can also say I think we have some disagreements. And also that I don't even know we understand each other. Because we would just be playing with words. Because the one thing that people would often do is start to deny because they feel attacked. And then they would, would go on. I don't know if that helps you any, yeah, but, sure but there were so all these options.